it's going to be longer than anyone really likes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a variety of reasons for it. Um, one is infrastructure, right? It's so deeply embedded into everything um, that, you know, it, it's just going to take a while to clean it out, let's say. Uh, you know, I mean, we're, we still have mainframes running COBOL in the background. Like it's just, there's, there's this whole technical debt that we have to deal with where it's going to take a while to get rid of that. And that's going to surface to end users. Um, you know, they're going to see. Unfortunately, way too many organizations still don't understand the importance of even just basic two-factor authentication. Um, and then there's the usability aspect too. Um, in FIDO has done extensive usability research uh, to try and understand how to integrate this and what users are trying are going to experience. And what one of the first things we discovered is passwordless can actually be unsettling to people because they sometimes right. associate that with no password and therefore less secure. So there's definitely an education that needs to take place. Um, and, and it's both in understanding that this is something you should do, but also how do we present it to users? Everyone knows username, password, right? It's, it's, you know, people have now been born with the notion of a username field and a password field. And so we're talking about a different behavior, a different experience, and that's going to be very jarring for a lot of people. They're not going to trust it initially. It's new. It's different. You know, don't want to do that. And so it's going to be a progression and it's going to take a few years for people to switch. It's going to take a while for a lot of the big, you know, uh, user oriented services, big retailers and such to start using it. Um, so uh, unfortunately, it's a time thing, mostly based on human factors more than anything else. But it's absolutely accelerating. We're seeing more and more large um, consumer facing services beginning to adopt it. Best Buy does it. PayPal just announced that they're doing it. Um, Yahoo Japan is using it. Docomo in Japan, the mobile operator, they're all using it. So it's, it's getting growth at scale now.